Occam calls for the open curation of computer architecture modeling. Occam encapsulates the entire workflow of experimentation, from configuration, data representation, and even graphing and visualization. Occam is ambitious yet necessary for adding much-needed accountability to computer science research. Through the recording and curation of the experimentation process, research can be reproduced and repeated on other systems. Let's play around. From my dashboard, I can create a new workset which collects related experiments and simulations together. I'll be using DRAM Sim 2, a very simple memory simulator. From the point of view of a workset, I can control the visibility of the experimentation as either public or private. To better facilitate collaboration, I can allow other accounts to edit this workset. When a workset is private, only you and contributors can view anything within it. To produce simulation results, I'm going to add a simulator configuration. Now what I want to do is vary the number of DRAM channels and see what happens. I expect an improvement to bandwidth. So I will change the number of channels. Uh, right. It must be a power of 2. It alerts me immediately that this is wrong, along with a description of what this field actually means. Instead, I should vary the data bus. So let's give it a range. The description said that this must be a factor of 64, so let's go from 64 to 512, and then create the group. A group was created containing all of the 8 possible experiments based on the ranges I gave it knows that the bus size is a factor of 64. Since everything looks right, all I have to do now is press run. Each simulation run will be queued and eventually completed. Once they all finish, I can go into the results browser and explore the data the simulation produced. All eight of the separate configurations are included as tabs at the top, and I can easily explore all of them. Yeah, it does seem like bandwidth has gone up, but let's explore this data more visually. Let's graph it. The graph builder makes use of Occam's knowledge of the structure of simulation data and can quickly create graphs and visualizations based upon your experimentation. For instance, here, bandwidth is graphed grouped by each separate configuration. Each simulation run is given a different color and Occam is aware of the units to automatically label the y-axis. In this way, Occam's knowledge not only enables repeatability, but also reduces human error. As channels increase, so does bandwidth, except bank 4. Hmm. I should look into this more. Internally, Occam works with a tool called Docker. Docker provides a means of managing lightweight virtualized environments. Docker can spawn, for instance, a clean Ubuntu environment, even old versions, that I can then use to contain a build of a simulator. This means easier maintenance for supporting old builds, and thus a means of curating simulation through the standardization of these environments. Through this, Occam can curate the workflows for building, running, and replaying simulations. Occam describes the canonical environment and records the revisions and origins of simulator code and build scripts. These builds can then be replayed with Docker or one can migrate an existing VM image. With this in mind, how easy is it to teach an Occam system something new? A developer will first describe the process of building an object externally, and then we just point Occam to that description. In this case, it is a Git repository. We will use the Parsec benchmark built specifically for Sniper here. In this case, Occam knows that it depends on Sniper being available first. It uses the information it has to go out and find the means to build Sniper. Once I click Install, it will queue both Sniper and Parsec on the job queue. It will only build Parsec once Sniper completes. Objects, such as Parsec here, can build off of existing objects. In this case, Parsec uses the code and instrumentation within the Sniper VM to build itself. After Sniper is finished building, it becomes immediately available for anybody to use for their own experimentation. Whether it is the process of running the simulation or building the simulator, Occam can repeat and reproduce an entire experiment workflow. Occam is the new era of responsible and accountable research.